Hi Space Cadets, Astro Chris here. Thanks for returning to my channel if you're a returning viewer. This is your first time here. Welcome. We're going to do an energy check-in tarot reading today. We're just going to see what falls out and we're going to talk about it. Check in what's going on out there in the world to the collective. We're going to pull some original tarot and then we'll get some clarifying cards and we'll see what story unfolds. All right. Spirit, let's get a message for the collective. Let's just get a regular energy check in. What's going on with the collective? Ooh, the Emperor came out in reverse. Okay, that was a lot. Nope. Going back in. My dog is like, why are you throwing cards at me, Mom? <laughs> Let's just put those back in and try that one more time. Okay, Spirit. <laughs> What are the messages for the collective this week? Okay. One more card. Let's get an idea of the story here that's going on. It's just a regular energy check-in for the collective. We're going to see what's going on. Nine of Cups. Okay. Bottom deck energy, six of cups. All right, so this is just a regular energy check-in. So take what resonates for your situation. If it does not pertain to your situation, then this message is not for you. Stay tuned throughout the length of the video because as I pull more cards, the situation might become a little bit more detailed. So we're starting off with the emperor in reverse, the six of swords here in the center, and the nine of cups in the third position which sometimes I refer to as a future energy we have past or moving into the present present and then going into the future energy here so we have the past energy of the Emperor in reverse the Emperor card in reverse is usually signifying that the traits in which an Emperor would would have are negative so an Emperor in the positive is somebody who's very much in their power <clears throat> knows how to wield their ego in a way where it's not overwhelming, but it's used for good. Um, when it's in the negative, this is somebody who is way too much in their ego, focuses on superficial means, um, might even be a little narcissistic. And there, there's almost an energy about this emperor that is very masculine. So I want to say that this may pertain to a male um, it could be you watching this video, or it could be about a masculine person in your energy, um, somebody you talk to regularly, or you dealt with in the past, or um, maybe you deal with now. But this person is, they have a very big ego. They like to flaunt their wealth, and uh, it's almost gross. <laughs> To somebody who is in a positive emperor energy the way in which this person uh, shows themselves we're gonna get some clarifying cards so don't panic <laughs> so we have the six of swords here in the center the six of swords is about moving to calmer waters so maybe this emperor is in the reverse but there's an energy about not wanting to stay there and so the six of swords here is about movement and taking taking that baggage and almost plucking the swords out of your own back and then leaving them behind and then moving towards calmer waters and so the future energy here we have the nine of cups the nine of cups is about wish fulfillment something that um, this person may really want or there's a wish here that you collective are wanting for your future and um, it's almost as if what you want is coming after a time of dealing with a dramatic masculine, a person that was very dramatic, that caused a lot of drama, and that you want to move towards calmer waters. Like, you basically want peace. 
with this individual. I'm going to say it's a person. We have the Six of cup, Cups here. The Six of Cups could be about um, a past situation um, or even someone making a decision based on something they may have left behind. World here is bottom deck. We have new beginnings. Well, the world card could also be about ending a cycle. And then we have underneath the world card there, the Empress. So we have the Emperor showing up here in reverse. And then we have the Empress in upright. So I almost want to say that there is someone who has wanting, wanting to make an Empress their wish fulfillment. Like, that's Bella for you. Scratching. There's somebody who... <laughs> wants to move towards a feminine energy here and the empress is coming out in the upright and so she's like a very powerful energy very powerful person um, very nurturing and loving but at the same time there's this energy here of almost feeling trapped not being able to approach this empress for some reason maybe because she's starting a new beginning and uh, not allowing room for things in her from her past. We'll find out. Let's get some clarifying cards here about the Emperor in Reverse spirit. Go lay down, please. Go on. Go lay down. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's just shuffle here real quick. So what is this Emperor in Reverse about, Spirit? Let's find out. What is the Emperor in Reverse about? What is the Emperor in Reverse about? Ten of Wands, a lot of betrayal. Let's get some. Let's get another card for about the Emperor in Reverse spirit. Okay, we got one. Let's get one more for a clarifier of who is this Emperor in Reverse. Uh oh, we had one flip over here, and then we ended on the Tower. Interesting. Okay, bottom deck energy is Tower. Clarifying the Emperor in reverse, we have the Hermit, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So whoever this Emperor in reverse is here, this masculine energy, this person is um, going through a lot right now. They're experiencing a lot of emotional turmoil, and uh, maybe they're trying to isolate themselves from a connection that was causing a lot of problems. Um, and maybe that's why the Emperor is showing up in reverse here, is because... They're already in a connection with somebody um, and they're wanting to approach this empress I see here and they want a new beginning with this empress and this empress is somebody from this this emperor in reverse's past. I don't want to call this person an emperor because he's not an emperor. He is an emperor that's showing up in reverse, okay? So let's just make that very clear right now, <laughs> all right? Um, so the Hermit card here is about being in contemplation. And then we have the Two of Cups, being in contemplation about a connection. Somebody that um, maybe felt like a soulmate or someone that you were supposed to be with or someone that you had a connection with. Um, it could be you or this person, whoever is watching this video right now, whoever this video pertains to. If it doesn't resonate with you, then this message is not for you. Um, but if this does resonate with you, then this is about an individual that you've been in contemplation with with or not with but in regards to how to approach them because you want to you want to bring movement but it's like you have all this emotional baggage that you're going to have to take with you when you do move for tour forward Blah, it's mercury retrograde i can't talk so we have the bull here um 
this emperor card is very fire sign energy so leo aries sagittarius um, we even have taurus in here with the bull of cancer energy here with all this water and uh the hermit is also virgo so any of these signs could pertain to the situation here but it looks like the emperor in reverse here whoever this is is somebody who has a lot of emotional baggage and they're wanting to approach an empress but it's like the only way that they can approach this empress now is with this baggage. So there's like an anxiety surrounding, is this empress going to still accept this person and be able to move to calmer waters with this individual to have this wish fulfillment, this happiness of all of these cups. Um, so we're going to look more. And we have bottom deck energy tower here. The tower is uh, a sudden change, a sudden shock to the system, a jolt that forces you to evolve into a different situation or life path. Um, it could be an inner conflict or it could be something in your life that actually happens, like somebody dies around you, somebody gets into a car accident or something like that. Um, something major happens and shifts something within you. That's what happens when uh, a lot of tarot readers like to say tower moment when a tower moment happens it's something very sudden that changes in your life like that and it can be very jolting and very intense and emotional because we call it the tower so it's like your entire tower is crumbling down and um i feel like this person is going through a tower moment right now and it has something to do with what they've come to terms with regarding this empress they want to come towards Okay, so we have bottom deck, eight of cups. Yeah, that makes sense. The tower moment here and then the eight of cups is about turning around and uh, going back towards something that was in your past, right? And the tower moment is, I think this is almost saying like the tower moment is making that decision to turn back and go towards that empress. Six of wands. It's something that you want victory of. You want to be able to work with this person and make it work and put in the work. You want to be able to move towards calmer waters. And I feel like you have what it takes to make it happen. Okay, Spirit, let's get some clarifying cards about this. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. I don't think I need... Well, we can dig in. All right, let's just dig in. I'm nosy, okay? Spirit, what is this Six of Swords about? There may even be a child involved in this situation, too. What is this Six of Swords about? We have the Knight of Cups. Let's get a couple more cards here. Uh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups here. I briefly got interrupted. Sorry about that. So we have the Knight of Cups, and I wanted—I was in the middle of drawing a couple more cards to get a more clarifying description of this uh, Six of Swords here. So let's get a couple more cards. We have okay. We have the Fool and the Eight of Swords here. Okay, so. Knight of Wands, bottom deck energy. <sighs> All right, so the Six of Swords here is about moving towards calmer waters from something. And then we have the Knight of Cups, the Fool, and the Eight of Swords here. So um, this is definitely about this Emperor here. This Emperor wants to move towards calmer waters with this Empress. The one that they want to move towards is the Empress here. Um, but they're moving towards her in a in a almost a reckless way kind of way here. We have uh, the Fool and then the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a card about feeling very trapped, okay? And we also have the Eight of Swords under here as well. So this is just double confirmation here that there is a situation that maybe had this Emperor trapped where they couldn't make this move. But it's almost like there's something here now that has allowed them to be able to say, okay, I'm gonna take this leap of faith. So we have this Fool here, and then we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is about taking swift action towards a romantic connection. And um, you see this guy has his uh, 
has a bouquet of flowers here. So I feel like this emperor wants to move towards this empress and um, maybe pop the question or want to like, you know, after a long period of stagnation, come and say, hey, I want to take you out on a date. Um, <laughs> let's find out about what this 10 or this nine of cups is here. Okay. What is this Knight of Cups about, Spirit? Can we get some clarifying information about this Knight of Cups? What is this Nine of Cups about? And I also want to learn more about that Fool card, too. Okay, so bottom deck energy, Ace of Wands here. We have the Hanged Man, Three of Pentacles, and the Moon. Okay, so the Nine of Cups card here is about... Uh, wish fulfillment, but we, then we have the moon and the three of cups and the hangman. So the hangman is almost referring to me like you're cutting the cord from whatever situation kept you trapped and you're allowing yourself to fall into the hands of this leap of faith. But you're almost keeping it secret. You're keeping it secret, the fact that you want to collaborate with this empress and move towards calmer waters with her. And it's almost like you're in your head about this collective. You're in your head about making this decision. And then, so we have the fool and the hangman here. Both of these cards are literally about, um, all right, screw it, I'm gonna do it, and then doing it, you know what I mean? Um, and this could also be a card about feeling very stuck. So maybe you're not exactly sure about how to approach and um, bring this wish fulfillment that you have about wanting to be happy and successful with this empress because you feel stuck. You feel stuck on how to do it. Maybe you guys are polar opposites and you're like, how would I woo her? How would I... Um, you can alternate the gender energies of however it fits your situation, but I'm just going to use it, you know, male, female. The emperor is naturally a male, empress is a female, that's just how I resonate with it, but uh, the energies can actually be flipped. It's, it's whatever personality traits that you take on. Um, but there's something you want to do here. You want to move towards this empress, but you're being very secretive about it. You're not telling anybody your plans. Or maybe you're not even telling anybody the real reason behind why you're why are you wanting to make that move and then we have the ace of wands here which is basically about um, truth having having a decision and completely manifesting that decision um, underneath that we have the king of wands and the queen of wands Ooh, the lovers card Wow queen of pentacles okay so you're working really hard on manifesting this power couple here. King of Wands and a Queen of Wands. Those are like, like that's a couple with like passion and uh, strength, power. So let's get some channeled messages here about this Emperor and Empress, okay? All right, spirit. Actually, let's use this deck right here. Okay. Let's get some channeled messages about this emperor. Let's learn more about the emperor's situation here. There's a lot about emotional baggage and feeling trapped, feeling very stuck, very stagnant about making moves, not, you know, feeling very unsure, but knowing what you want, but feeling very unsure or insecure even about it. Um, so let's get let's get into what that's about. Okay, spirit, guide me towards the messages to understand more about this emperor and his energy. Okay, what is this emperor dealing with right now? What is this emperor's energy about, spirit? Okay, we have separation. Maybe you're at a distance from this person. Okay, what was that? Did a card flip over? Nope, you sent me a wild goose hunt. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's get some more information about this emperor's energy here. What is this emperor about? Okay, we have, ooh, soulmate in reverse, wow. Okay, yeah, emperor came out in reverse and then now we have soulmate in reverse. So. 
I, this is, it's almost like there's a forbidden love here. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring the Empress out here because I think she's, she's important to the story. Um, all right. So we had soulmate in reverse and separation. So I feel like these two are definitely at a distance from each other. And, um, Maybe you're not even talking. Maybe one of you was ghosted by the other, even. Um, and then we have soulmate in reverse. So it's like whatever bond there was here is broken. It's been severed. And it's almost like it's blocking the manifestation of wanting... Of It's almost like it's not allowing that manifestation to allow this emperor to move towards the empress. Let's find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this okay this one wanted to make an appearance negative mm, wonder negative yeah something hmm what is this negative card about I need to know more and we have wonder. So maybe this emperor is left wondering, like, what happened? There's this energetic feeling of even being separated between these two individuals, I get the sense. And, I mean, it's left them with a lot of negativity, or maybe they're experiencing a lot of negativity in their life. And that's why the universe is blocking this person from the empress because there's just too much negativity. Empress energy is being very positive, being in your light, in your power. And sometimes empresses are earth angels. They're they're very earthy signs, you know. Um, they're very nurturing and loving individuals. And when when something <laughs> when someone does something negative to an empress the universe is going to shut you down so hardcore oh man all right i want to get some more information here about this bottom deck energy three of swords here this is a card of heartbreak and a third party situations maybe that's the negativity here that's coming out for some reason my my hand didn't grasp onto this card enough so it wanted to be seen Okay, I feel like we need to take that out too. Let's get some more information about this negative card, Spirit. What is this negative card here about? What is it that's negative that's going on here with this Emperor? Three of Wands, you're waiting for your ships to sail in. You're waiting for an opportunity for something. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Mm. All right. I don't like what, what I'm getting from this. Okay. The Magician. Yeah. This is not... This is not... Uh, okay. Bottom deck energy, King of Swords. I feel like this Empress is in the King of Swords energy towards this Emperor right now because she kind of knows that um she knows what this emperor is doing it's almost like this emperor is trying to manifest a union with this empress for money like it's all for money you know they're waiting for the opportunity to jump and go in with this like hey let me take you out on a date but i bet you <laughs> this strikes me as the kind of person that would be like um, oh shit, I forgot my wallet at the hotel. And you know, like you would end up paying. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this is not very good manifesting here. This emperor just wants the empress for her money. That's all that's happening here. All right, spirit. Thank you for that information. Let's get some, uh, Clarifying cards about the situation here. What is it about this money? What is it about the money this emperor wants? Direction a magic Okay, so 
we have the direction and the magic card fall out so um yeah i'm getting the sense that this empress here might be gifted this empress might be very powerful and gifted may even have like a very high intuition or even be a tarot reader or um a psychic medium and it's like this person is choosing to do negative magic we have the magician and the magic card out here they're choosing to do dark magic or use the opportunities to come into union and take this new direction in their life for the wrong reasons and it's going to end in heartbreak this person's going to be heartbroken because the empress is going especially if this person is very gifted they're going to already know why you're coming in there's no way that you could keep that from her okay so let's get some channel messages about this empress here i want to learn more about this empress and who she is okay spirit let's get some channel messages about the empress can you tell us more about this empress here empress okay this wanted to come out bottom deck energy abundance wow that's a stark contrast from the card that came out for the emperor over here let's see what else came out empty and lost okay yeah i feel like this emperor really betrayed this empress made her feeling empty and now now he's got to take that l you know he's got to take that loss this emperor had the chance to be with somebody who was going to be a soulmate for them. And then they, they've really fucked that up here. They lost their soulmate connection because of their actions, their choices, the way in which they decided to manifest things. It was manifesting things for the wrong reasons. You made decisions for the wrong reasons. So now you're not going to get this abundance oh look at that the cards that wanted to be seen in here were protection and decision they fell out from the bottom of the deck when i went to pick up this deck so this empress is very protected she's very protected by her spiritual team there's a decision this 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 the horns here of this gazelle or um <laughs> i don't that that may not be what that animal is <laughs> if if anybody knows correct me um an elk I, yeah maybe an elk i don't know but those horns kind of remind me of the two of swords which is about making a decision being very firm and decisive knowing which way you want to go so i feel like this empress has already decided to not even f mess with this emperor over here to have nothing to do with this person the abundance is expansive for this empress man <laughs> wow all right well let's get some romance cards for this empress here because i feel like the emperor is coming out in reverse so this it's it's obvious that this empress deserves an emperor right someone who is a good match right because empresses are very powerful and it's usually the type of women who have a situation where they have a very very supportive partner where they're able to flourish and receive all of this abundance and actually share it with their partner and so this empress knows i need to make a very i need to make a the right decision i need to make a decision based on who actually deserves to have this abundance shared with them you know so let's get some, uh, what is, what's going on in romance for this empress here? What's going on in this empress's love life? What's going on in this empress's love life here? Ooh, we had a card fly across the room. Bottom deck energy very soon. Interesting. Oh, shit new love that's right okay so this is confirmation that this empress has new love in her life and it's like right here okay oh 
Wow. Okay. There's that abundance I was talking about. Okay, so there's a wedding in this Empress's future. She is going to find the love of her life. And it's not going to be with this guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. I want to take this card very soon. New love coming in very soon for this Empress. So, Collective, if you resonate with this Empress energy over here and you got an Emperor that was somebody from your past is trying to come around and fuck with you and, like, mess up your abundance, you know what? Separate yourself. Bum, bum. And give your give allow yourself the chance for all this new love. All of this, all of this stuff. <laughs> okay. So let's get some advice here with numerology. This numerology deck is super interesting. I always get the craziest synchronicities when I use this deck. Even for my own personal messages. Insane stuff has happened before. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Spirit, what is some advice for this? Let's get some advice for the Emperor and then some advice for the Empress because I don't like the energy coming off of this Emperor here, but I feel like there's potential for them to heal and actually like remove themselves from a situation and do better. But it's like this Emperor may have set himself up for a karmic cycle like they're probably going to have to pay a karmic debt for a while because you don't you don't fuck with the energy when an empress is in her power she's untouchable you cannot spiritually touch her okay okay all right let's get some advice for this emperor spirit what is some advice for this emperor in reverse over here what is some advice for this emperor oh wow okay we had a lot come out there. Somebody is eager to talk to this emperor. Okay. Okay. So manifestation, leadership, effort, self-love. Okay. So the story I'm getting unfolding here for this emperor collective, if you resonate with this emperor energy, um, first of all, I don't hate you. <laughs> um, there's just a lot to learn from the situation here. Okay, and I think the biggest thing that you would need to learn is to make the effort to manifest in your own way for good. Don't use this negativity that you have around your life for manifesting using dark magic or other forms or, or even being around people who use dark magic. Be, your, be a leader in how you choose to manifest. Okay, because... If you, if you spend a lot of time manifesting in a certain way and you're only getting negative results, the logic here states you need to change some shit, okay? So you got to make that effort to figure out what that is, what it is that you need to change. And it might need, it might need to be a change in your relationship. So that two of cups card that was coming out earlier here about being in hermit mode, maybe the hermit mode is about you wanting to make the decision, but not knowing how to do it. Just make the decision. Just do it. And I feel like spirit's telling you that making that change from that negativity which I believe surrounds an actual connection, is going to be an act of self-love. All right, Emperor. It's, it's tough. Karmic completion. Look at that. So there was definitely a karmic cycle going on here between this Emperor in reverse and this Empress. And I feel like for a long time, this emperor over here may have been upright, but something happened. Now he's in reverse and the empress has stayed in her energy. All right, spirit, what's some advice for this empress? What is some advice for this empress? Oh, there goes another card flying out. Domestic harmony. Okay. What is some advice for this empress? advice 
this empress. Maybe this empress needs to change her environment or abundance. Wow, look at that double confirmation of that abundance here coming out. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost getting the sense that Spirit's like, she don't even need no advice. She know what the fuck is up. And uh, she's got all this abundance coming in. She has a future of domestic harmony. She's going to be happy after being able to end a karmic cycle. And establishing that self-discipline in order to do so. And to heal. Oh, maybe, maybe you guys have been working out. <laughs> Love partnership. Yeah, you've been putting in that work for a love partnership and one of you didn't and the other did and the one who did was raised up in the scales the one who didn't was pushed down in the scales and so the more you push yourself down the higher this empress goes so i almost feel like the karma that this emperor is going to get is being able to watch this abundance coming in for this empress and seeing her be happy in a new love relationship How do you like them apples? How oh, universe? There's even a motherfucking wedding for her. She even she's gonna fucking get married, bro. She may even <laughs> whoever this empress is, you may already know who this person is. That's the new love. New love can be anybody that's come into your life within like the past six months. Okay, spirit. Let's get some overall advice. Um, actually, let's see, I want to get, let's just get a card for the Emperor, get a card for the Empress. There's definitely two energies going on here. So, okay, what's a card for the Emperor energy that's coming out here, Spirit? What can we tell this Emperor that would help them for their highest good? What can we tell this Emperor here? What is, what does, what does this Emperor need to know right now? Okay. Listen and connect to your intuition. Okay, so th this is just spirit confirming for this emperor energy here that there's something going on that is keeping you trapped, but I think spirit's almost saying you're not actually trapped. Like, free yourself. You know how to free yourself. You are the breath. Listen and connect to your intuition. When you quiet yourself and meditate and you find those moments to go inward, you're going to get the answers you need. Okay? All right, Spirit. What can we tell this Empress here? What can we tell this Empress? What does this Empress need to know? Okay, there it is. Remember, love is the key. Love what you have in your life right now. This came out in reverse. And it says, love what you have in your life right now in reverse. So I almost get the sense that this is like confirmation saying, go for that new love for this empress here. <laughs> Bottom deck energy, walk your own journey. It is essential to stay on your own path. Hmm. That's almost like a reconfirmation of the leadership card. We are the captains of our own souls. All right, for the collective viewership here, let's get a uh, advice card for the collective viewership. All right, Spirit, what can we give? What, what information can we give to the collective here? What information can we give to the collective? It's a squeaky clean brand new deck. What information can we give to the collective? You definitely need a lot of healing between these two here. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place, but the healing, I almost want to say, is better done separated. Like this empress has been separated from the emperor because she needs to stay protected from that negativity. And you're bringing a lot of negativity, emperor. You cannot bring negativity to an empress. It's just not going to work. She'll shove you out so fast. Okay. 
Bottom deck energy, new opportunities. Heart chakra. Interesting. And then we have bottom deck trust. I call. I think I called this bottom deck energy. No, this is bottom deck energy trust. This is the card that came out. New opportunities. So this is pretty straightforward to me. I think the universe is just saying trust in the new opportunities that are ahead of you. They could even be in your immediate future. They could be new love. It could be a new job. It could be a change in environment. You could be moving locations. You could be traveling to somewhere new. Whatever the opportunity is, however you resonate with what an opportunity is and how it is presented to you in your life, spirit is just saying trust. Trust in the direction of where it's going to take you. Okay. I want to get some information on this new love here for this empress, so draw a card for the new love for the empress and then we'll wrap it up here all right spirit what is some uh information that we can give this empress for the new love what is some information we can give this empress for her new love here we go don't let your past hold you back your hard work is paying off wow wow Okay, so this is just confirmation that the Empress did the right thing, severing this connection with that Emperor. She's going to allow this abundance to finally trickle into her life now because of this decision that was made. It was a good decision on her part. And this Emperor just needs to really heal. This Emperor needs to take the time to heal, go inward remove themselves from toxic situations, go about their life in a very humbled way, and um, not let their own pride and ego stand in their way. Because the emperor in reverse is somebody who is letting their ego be an issue. And when ego becomes an issue, we lose ourselves to third dimensional reality. We are no longer connected to the God source. We are no longer vibrating at a higher frequency. We are lowering our vibration. We are lowering our frequency. And the lower you get, the more negative your experiences are in life. I cannot stress this enough. Raise your vibration. Get in touch with your intuition. Heal. And then you'll learn how to correctly manifest a good future for yourself and others. And those that you love. We're out here doing all this dumb shit because we're traumatized and hurt. And as a society, we're not taking the time to heal. We continue to lie and sneak around and do all these stupid things and hurt people for our own personal gain. And it's like, why? Why are you doing this? It serves nobody. It doesn't even serve you. You may be fulfilled in a single moment of whatever may happen, but long term, you're going to get that karma sent back to you tenfold. Return to sender. Okay? So... This is what I have for you, Collective. If you have any questions or comments, please hit me in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Hit that like button and subscribe for more content very similar to this. You can also check me out on my Instagram. I do weekly readings. I was taking a break for a while to recharge, but I think I'm going to really get more disciplined and get back into it. So uh, thank you for all your support. And if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you like this video. Please let me know what you thought. Thank you so much. See you next time.